Okay, for those of you who've been slacking and lacking, LG introduced back in 2017, it was also at the 2018 Consumer Electronics Trade Show, a roll up, you heard me, a TV that actually rolls like a paper towel, a roll up 4K OLED TV. Okay, now they put it in the cabinet and it's going to be available supposedly by the beginning of next year 2020 it should be available to consumers for purchase but my question is how much is the damn TV going to cost for the past two decades television technology has came a very long way. If you're an older cat like myself, you probably remember the Big Backs, okay? Around 2000, they came out with the flat screen, which was called an LCD TV, okay? And also the plasma, okay? After that, came out with LED TV, okay? Which was mass produced because uh, it was cheaper and uh, more efficient to make um, and the only difference between LCD and LED television was the way the TV was lit up so you could see it okay now think of it like this remember back in the 80s when they had those digital watches but when it was dark in the room or you were outside and it was nighttime or whatever, you couldn't see the time. So you had to hit a little button on the side of the watch and the screen would light up and so you could see what time it was. Basically, same concept with the TV. The screen is what actually produces the picture, okay? But in order for you to see it, it has to be lit up at all times, okay? LCD was a way in which the TV was lit with using CCFL or cold cathode fluorescent tubes. Much like the long skinny lights that you see um, in a barber shop or in somebody's workbench, okay? The lights that you see hanging from the ceiling and you have to go in there and change the long, I don't know, two, three foot bulb and, and sometimes there were two of them. Same concept, okay? That's how they lit the screen up. LED came out in which they used a series of small white LEDs, okay, going from top to bottom, okay? Now, the advantage of that was, like I said, it was more cost efficient, and they could actually dim certain parts of the TV during dark scenes, which will give you a a much deeper rich black level in most cases right but the only problem with that is because there's always a light behind the actual screen you are really getting no true black levels okay OLED which stands for organic LED TV is where they do not use a backlight at all instead the actual pixels in the screen make their own light okay if they are dressed properly and that advantage of that is TVs are much thinner and they can get a deeper black level because there is no light shining from behind the screen or in back of the actual display there's no light so if the pixel is totally black that means that you're gonna get a deeper a true black level Right, as long as the actual screen of the TV is made black from the manufacturer. And not only that, uh, true or black levels means that the colors around it, the lighter colors, are going to be exceptionally more vivid. Thus giving you a overall better picture. Unlike plasma televisions, use kind of like the same concept with the electrodes, okay, um, lighting up. But uh, when you turn the plasma on, if you always, always notice like a little flash, because you know it's on, uh, the screen has to already be primed or lit up. 
okay so that is very good as long as the screen is lit up dark okay uh, but the screen is all is there there is still light okay emitting through the screen or through those dials now um, this concept is actually I believe it's coming out soon this year if it's not already out yet uh, they're making this actual phone that actually bends okay a folding phone the screen actually folds up so you fold the phone in half and you can you know put it in your pocket or your purse and then when you're ready to use it uh, if you want you can use the one side if not you can open up the you can unfold the phone and make the screen twice as big in case you want to you know go online and watch a, a movie or YouTube or whatever right so basically the whole concept of this idea is if all they have to do is use a screen that does not lead does, that does not need any backlights because it makes its own light the actual pixels light up and instead of sandwiching it between two pieces of glass or hard plastic if they sandwich it in between a rollable flexible substrate thus they can make a flexible rollable TV right it can be just that thin as long as the actual circuit boards or circuits to actually power it up and you know transfer your display signal to the actual display as long as those are separate or apart from the actual display that is made possible okay so anyway I just thought I'd give you guys a little uh, insight on how these TVs are made because everybody is always asking me what's the difference between LED and LCD and OLED and what is 4K and what is 1080. So with that being said, let's get down to the nitty gritty of what the video is about. The price. Now, here we have a regular non-rollable 65 inch 4K OLED TV by LG. And as you can see, the price is about 1700 bucks. okay? And obviously, you can see just how thin they can actually make the screen. The only difference is the circuit boards are inside of the housing somewhere, probably toward the bottom. So that part has to be a little thicker, maybe a small section of the uh, TV in the back. Okay, so give or take that into consideration that a regular 65-inch OLED 4K TV is about anywhere between, let's just say, $2,000 because there are other different, there are other certain models that are like, you know, $2,400 and $2,600. So we're going to say about $2,000 for a 4K 65-inch OLED TV. So now the fact that we have to put um, the circuit boards separate from the panel, okay, which means uh, more connections, um, more infused uh, rooming connectors and things like that I'm just gonna add another 500 bucks to it okay alright to separate the boards from the actual display thus making the screen thinner and instead of using traditional glass or plastic we need to use a flexible clear substrate okay to sandwich the actual display in okay and so by doing that I am going to add another two thousand dollars to the tv so now we are at forty five hundred dollars okay now uh considering that we have to have some type of mechanism or the actual cabinet that actually has a mechanism to actually roll it up and roll it back out i want to add another thirty five hundred dollars to that okay so now we are at eight thousand dollars and yes, my friends, I am going to predict that the starting price of this TV will be around $8,000. However, the first year any new TV comes out, it's always at this highest price, at the highest price point. For instance, curved TVs, okay? The first year, they were very high. They have practically went down in price to 50%, half, okay? LED TVs, when they first came out, their first year, they were higher. 4K televisions, same thing. Now the prices are lower. They were like three, four thousand dollars for a 65 inch. Now they're around, um, you know, just for a regular 4K 
uh, back backlit TV, okay, or LED 4K TV, you can get one for about 1200 bucks now, okay? So I'm to that $8,000 for this new rollable, flexible TV screen, uh, I am going to add another first year, <laughs> first year increase, okay, of about $3,000. So yes, I am predicting the price, the, the starting price point of this TV next year, the first year, will be around, okay, 12, 11 to 12 thousand dollars okay and then it may it may then the following year it may come down to about my starting uh price of eight or even seven now i'm pretty sure when this comes out they're going to make a uh, different um display versions of this uh as far as the 4k they may make a 1081 okay which may be uh, considered to be less and affordable for some people but um okay guys there you have it there's my price prediction of this new 4k uh led foldable rollable uh 65 inch tv so guys make sure that you check your bank accounts and uh, make sure that you um you know might have enough uh when it's released it's actually supposed to be released uh later this year but i'm going to give them until the beginning of next year uh, 2012 or whatever. I'm sorry, 2000 and, uh, 2020. Okay, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. And uh, Big Dog is out.